Before you buy a product to sell on Amazon, in Amazon Wholesale, you need to know how much it sells per month. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now, how to do it for free, and also do it faster with paid plugins. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Todd Welch here with Entrepreneur Adventure and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find how much a product is selling on Amazon so that when you go to buy it, if you're doing an Amazon wholesale business, you know for sure how much is selling so you can make an order for the appropriate amount of products. Now, as you all know, I recommend ordering a small amount up front, like a case pack or maybe 12 or a dozen, something like that but you still wanna know how much a product is selling before you take the time to start ordering it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that free, first of all, and then how to use the tools that I use to do it a lot faster, because when you start doing this at scale, you need to be able to do it faster. So stay tuned for that. Before we get into it, make sure you click that subscribe button down below, hit that little bell to get notified of more videos like this that are gonna help you in your Amazon adventure. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so here we are. I have found this product already that we're going to dive into. Greenies Original Teeny Natural Dental Dog Treats. So the first thing we want to do is find out how much this product is selling on a monthly basis. And to do that the free way, you are going to use a tool called Jungle Scout Amazon Sales Estimator. So it's at junglescout.com forward slash estimator and I'll put a link down below in the description as well for that. And what you need here is the seller's rank number, what marketplace that we're gonna be selling in, and then the product category of it as well. And we can find that on the page here. Now, you guys aren't gonna have this nice plugin from RevSeller at the top here, so I'm gonna ignore that right now because we're doing this the free way. And if I scroll down below the description here, there's gonna be product details is what we're looking for. And there you're gonna find your Amazon best sellers rank. Now, most of them are going to have a top level category here. Not all of them, so if it doesn't, then it's gonna be kinda of difficult to get those sales ranks, but most of them are gonna have a top level here, which is what we're looking at. And in this case, it's number 16 in pet supplies. So, if we jump over to Amazon, or I mean the Jungle Scout estimator here, and put in 16 for the rank. We are in the United States marketplace is what I'm looking in. If you were in something else, you would select the proper one. And then the category is pet supplies, and you can just type in there to search is what I did there. And then calculate sales. And so there you go, 16,680 sales per month. So this is a killer product. Now, I do find Jungle Scout tends to skew on the high side, so keep that in mind. This is just an estimate based off a snapshot in time, and it's going to change. One thing you'd wanna look at is like the historical sales rank and such using a Keepa graph if you pay for that stuff, but this is gonna give you a good estimate on how many sales per month, just to give you a ballpark figure. Now, if we jump back over here, when we look at this, you might be saying, but yeah, Todd, there are lots of different variations on here. So which one is actually selling really well? Maybe one of them is selling really well and the rest are bad sellers. And obviously you don't wanna be selling the ones that are not good sellers. And to determine that, I use a website called reviewmeta.com and they actually have a Google Chrome plugin which is right up here, reviewmeta.com, I already have it. I'll put the link to install that plugin down below. And you can see it's already got a 4.8 star rating there so it's grabbing the information from the page. And if I click on it, 
it takes me over to Review Meta's page. Now, what Review Meta really actually does is it's an analyzer to see if there are fake reviews on the listing. So if you buy on Amazon, this might be something you want to try out. But that's not what we're going to be using it for. So this is Amazon's rating. This is the adjusted rating for if they took out fake reviews. In this case, there's 0%. But what we want to look at is actually right down here, the C8 product variations. Now, if this isn't here, sometimes you have to click refresh report um, somewhere here. I don't know if it's going to be on here because this is a new one. But if it was out of date, there would be a, a link here somewhere to refresh. So you might want to look at that. We can see last updated February 16th, so it's pretty new. Um, if that's quite ways in the past, then click on the link that allows you to refresh it. Um, but it's not on this one because it's a relatively new listing. But if we click on that eight product variations, it's gonna pull out those reviews by the variation. So we can see out of those 7,873 reviews, the 130 treats has 3,643 of them. And then after that, 36 treats is next up, then 36 treats again. Uh, for some reason, it's coming in there twice. Not sure if it's listed twice on there. 36, 36, 36. Nope, 36 is actually not even showing up. So that might be out of stock currently. And uh, let's go down to the next one. Now, if you see one like this without a variation on it, then that is gonna be usually the parent. And if you hover over the picture down in the bottom left corner, right down here, you're gonna see the ASIN that it is showing for. And in this case, it ends in PZ8. So you can actually jump over here and kind of see which one that might be if you clicked through each one of these. But usually, if it doesn't say extra word on the end, then it's gonna be the parent um, but you can also click on the link there and that will take you over to the actual one that's there as well. So PZ8 is actually looks like 43 treats. All right, but that's just giving you an idea of which ones are selling best. If we go all the way down here to the bottom, 11 treats, one pouch, that is going to be this one here. We obviously don't want to probably be selling that one there because that one is not getting very many sales. So that's something to keep in mind. It's just a free way to determine what's selling well and what is not. Let's just look for 11 treats and make sure it didn't get split up here. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. But. There you go, that's a way you can do that. Now, I'm gonna have a link to a video where I dive more into review meta on how you can determine actually how many sales per month each variation is getting based off of these numbers. So check that out down below. I'll put it at the end of this video as well on the screen so you can check that out. But that way you know which ones you wanna sell, and which ones you don't. So that is the free way to determine the number of sales and then which variations are getting the majority of those sales. Now, let's go ahead and do the paid version and you can see how much easier and quicker it is if you are doing this on a lot of products. And now a lot of these plugins are paid plugins, so down below I'll have affiliate links for you to click through and buy these plugins if you decide to do that. If you do that, that would be awesome. It would really help. I would really appreciate it for making these videos for you guys. But let's go ahead and dive into this one now. Greenies Original Teeny Natural Dental Dog Treats again. Right at the top here, this plugin is called Rev Seller. This one is a gold plugin for the US market. It's not available in other markets yet, but for the US market, it puts this awesome little box right here at the top, gives you the sales rank, tells you what the current price is. I can put in my buy cost if I know what it is, and it'll tell me the ROI and the margin. Gives me all the other information along over here, the parent ASIN, and a lot of great stuff. So that is one plugin that I highly recommend if you're gonna be doing a lot of this, so you can see all that information right there, determine if a product is profitable. But if we want to see how much this is gonna sell, and you have purchased the Jungle Scout extension for Chrome, 
then you can just click on it right up here at the top. So now the Jungle Scout plugin is gonna load up and there we have our monthly sales right there, nice and easy for us. And Jungle Scout will actually sometimes break out each individual variation here as well. So you can have an idea on each individual variation as to which ones are selling well, which ones are not selling well right there, which is really nice and easy for that. So really easy to get the information that you need for the number of sales. Now, I mentioned the Keepa plugin. What I like to do, so this is 16 right now. What if maybe they just had a big sale or something and the rank is spiked way low? That's why it looks like it's selling so much. So if you have the Keepa plugin, you can actually see the historical sales rank, which is this green bar here. I'm just gonna zoom in to get a little bit closer. And so what I wanna look at right now, it's at 16, but let's go back historically and it looks like the sales rank historically has been right around that 16. If we click on or hover over the statistics here, we can see on here the sales rank in the last 180 days was an average of 16, the last 90 days an average of 19 and I'm looking at that green section there and it gives you a really good idea to make sure that you just don't have a spike right now. All right, so that way you can make sure you're getting accurate sales numbers for this item. All right, so one last thing that I wanted to show you is tactical arbitrage. If you use tactical arbitrage, they have a nice little feature in there to analyze the variations and determine which ones are actually selling the best because Jungle Scout doesn't always show the sales number for each variation. So I'm gonna jump over to Tactical Arbitrage and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so I am in Tactical Arbitrage right now and over on the left they have this analysis and then product variations for us to analyze product variations. All I have to do is copy the ASIN here from the URL at the top and paste that right in here and we can fetch that information. Once it retrieves all of that, we will then be able to click here to analyze the customer reviews. So if we click on analyze and I do 100 pages or whatever the max is, if it's less than 100 pages, is plenty to get the information we need and we'll fetch that. All right, so now that is done and right down here you can see that the 130 treats gets 64.8% of the sales. So a large majority of the sales are coming from this one variation. So that way you can make sure that you are not, again, those 11 treats are at the bottom, same as the review meta that we got, and you can know how much you're going to be getting. So what I would do with this is if we take our Jungle Scout numbers right here, 15,773, bring that over, 15,773, and 64.8%, so if we times that by 0.648, we can know that the 130 treats is gonna get approximately 10,220 sales per month. And then you can do the same for the next and the next and the next, and you'll know approximately how many orders or sales per month that product is getting. Okay, so there you go. That is how you can determine the number of sales a product is getting on Amazon. So when you're making those purchases for your Amazon wholesale businesses, you know you are getting products that are going to sell. It's crucially important. You don't wanna have your money tied up in products that aren't selling, and you don't wanna have money just sitting there. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe and click the little bell to get notified of more tips just like this one to help you guys in your Amazon business. Use those links down below if you decide to purchase any of those plugins through my affiliate links. I'll get a small cut of that at no additional cost to you and it would really be appreciated. And also check out the other videos that I'm gonna put up here and I'll also make it nice and easy and put in a little subscribe link for you right here as well. So with that, this is Todd Welch with The Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling everybody.